Welcome to Whips in the Dungeon, and we're going to continue with different strategies for practicing two-hand whip work with techniques that ultimately will allow us to throw two hands in the dungeon in contact play uh, with a whip catcher or whip bottom. So today we're only going to focus on the forehand. We're going to focus on alternate, what I'm calling alternating forehands. So I'm going to throw the right hand a forehand and recover it on the forehand side. I'm going to throw the left hand with a forehand and recover it on the left hand side. And we're going to alternate those. And I actually almost don't have enough room to do this activity. It seems like in doing this, I need a little bit wider whip lane than when I'm throwing and recovering on the backhand side, which you wouldn't think that would be the case, but it seems to be the case. So this is just a different pattern a different way of throwing two-handed and we don't actually have both whips being thrown at the same time we're throwing our forehand and leaving it out throwing the next forehand as we recover that first forehand but we're throwing it and leaving it you don't want to jerk it back towards you like a towel crack if you do the whip will come back and hit you faster than it went out so you're throwing the forehand, leaving it out, throwing the forehand and leaving it out, and just alternating that pattern. So there we have it, alternating forehands uh, with a pause in between so that both whips aren't moving at the same time. Uh, give that a try and see how you like that uh, with the alternating forehands. Just throw it and leave it out. Throw it and leave it out and alternate between your right hand and your left hand. As always, thanks for watching Whoops in the Dungeon.